Happy New Year and welcome to a brand new year here on the One Pot Chef Show channel. A few weeks ago I asked everyone on my social media if they'd like to suggest what kind of recipes they'd like to see in the new year and I got all sorts of different responses but one thing kept coming up time and time again easy weeknight meals. So I've listened and I've come up with a fabulous recipe that I guarantee every family is going to enjoy. Let's make this beautiful creamy bacon and mushroom chicken on the One Pot Chef. Let's get started. I've got a large fry pan over a medium heat and I've got a little bit of olive oil in the bottom there and to that I'm going to add in one onion which I have just finely chopped, two cloves of garlic either finely chopped or minced, and two slices of middle rasher bacon which I've just diced up. Now I'm using Australian bacon today which differs from American bacon as my American friends will see. It's similar to what you would call Canadian bacon so it's a bit thicker, it's got a bit more fat on it and it's got lots of lovely flavour to it. And all we're going to do is just cook this stirring occasionally for about three or four minutes or until the onions start to soften and become slightly translucent. Next we're going to add in our chicken. Now I'm putting in 500 grams or about a pound of chicken breast, skinless and boneless. And all I've done is I've just diced it up into little bite-sized pieces. Now we're just going to add that in, give it a quick stir and we're just going to allow this to cook for about five minutes or until the chicken has started to lightly brown. Our chicken's starting to get a little bit of colour there so what we're going to do is we're going to help to try and balance out some of these flavours because there's some really big flavours in play here. You've got bacon, you've got onion, you've got garlic. What you need is something that will help to balance it out, smooth out those flavours without overwhelming them. So I'm going to do it with a bit of mustard. I'm adding in a tablespoon of mild Dijon mustard. Now Dijon mustard is pretty mild by mustard standards and of course it has this lovely sort of slightly sweet, slightly nutty flavour to it which will help to balance out the saltiness of the bacon and the sharpness of the onion and the garlic. So we're just going to stir that mustard through. If you're not a fan of mustard you're welcome to leave it out. Personally I think it really does bring something to this. So I've just reduced the heat slightly to medium and we're going to start adding in our veggies. So I've got two zucchini or courgette which I've just cut into bite-sized pieces and about 200 grams of mushrooms, button mushrooms which I've just basically diced up nice and small, finely chopped. Now 200 grams is roughly about two cups roughly of chopped mushrooms and all we're going to do is just stir that all together and then we're just going to allow this to cook stirring occasionally for about five minutes until the veggies are slightly softened. The mushrooms have started to shrink down and the zucchini has started to soften so it's time to start making our creamy sauce and all we need to do is oddly add some cream. I'm putting in one and a half cups of cream. Now you can use whipping cream, you can use pouring cream, whatever you happen to have on hand and we're just going to stir that through and all we're going to do is stir this frequently while this slowly comes back to the boil. Now our sauce is boiling we can reduce the temperature again just a little bit just enough so it's slowly simmering away and we're going to let that simmer stirring occasionally for about 10 to 15 minutes or until the sauce has reduced and thickened up. While our chicken is simmering away I thought I'd take this opportunity to remind you to check out my social media Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Links in the video description underneath this video on YouTube. And speaking of YouTube don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click the subscribe button and that little notification bell that way you won't miss out on any of my new videos. And as you can see our sauce has thickened up, the chicken and the bacon and the zucchini have all cooked and all we need to do is give this a little bit of a season of salt and pepper to taste and then we are ready to serve. 
And here we have our completed creamy bacon and mushroom chicken. I've served it over some rice, but instead you could serve it over pasta or noodles. You could serve this with some mixed vegetables on the side if you prefer. It smells absolutely incredible, that rich creamy sauce, and those little flakes of mushroom all through it. Trust me, you are going to love this, and one taste, you'll be making this all the time. I wish you could smell this through your screen. It is absolutely incredible. Ah, oh, dive in and have a little taste of this. Mmm. Oh my god, that's amazing. Mmm. <laughs> The chicken is absolutely perfect. It's beautiful and moist and tender and absolutely melts in your mouth. But the first thing that hits you is that wonderful flavours from the sauce. You've got the mushrooms, you've got garlic, onion, you've got the bacon, all those amazing flavours. Plus you've got that little bit of sweetness, slightly nuttiness from the mustard in the background. It's not overwhelming, it's just something in the background that brings everything together. And of course the cream, giving it that lovely richness, it is absolutely divine. You need to try this, it will change your life. Well I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at OnePotChefShow.com and until next time, see you later. Hey guys, just a bit of housekeeping. I've had a lot of people telling me they're not seeing my videos appear in their subscription box. YouTube keeps changing the algorithms and so you end up losing people that you are subscribed to because you don't necessarily interact with their videos much. So I do strongly recommend you like videos, you comment, even if it's just saying nice video or hi David or whatever. But more than anything, I strongly recommend you follow me on either one or all of my social media, your Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all of those ones, because you're guaranteed if you're following them and following me on YouTube, you're not going to miss out on any of my new content. I've got some amazing videos planned for 2018 and I guarantee you're going to love them. Lots of love to you all and I hope you had a great Christmas and New Year.